Okay, I have for the P-16, and we're not, we're not worried about a talkback, we don't need it, okay, great, thanks.
Shira malo izledovid, so mach ti bi oimri meli, bei sado i novo vojne i lech, oim do iz hoju ragele vejnu, bi še ora i hirušoloim, hirušolaim abenu jo, כי ירא שחו ברו לא יחדוב. ששם מול ושבותי משבתי יהיו, אידוס לישראו אל, להוידו אסל השם אדוני. כי שומו יושבו כיסו איסלי משפוט, כיסו איסלי ואיס דוד. שאלו ירו שלוים ירו שלוים ישלו יבואיך, ישולוים בחילך שלוו. ביור מנוי סויך, למען החי וראיו יד אברונו שולוי מבוך, למען ביסד עינו אלוהינו אבקשו תוי ולא יחי אדינינו מרינו ורבינו מלך המשיח ללא מועד. יחי אדינינו מרינו ורבינו מלך המשיח ללא מועד. יחי אדינינו מרינו ורבינו מלך המשיח ללא מועד. Please welcome Rabbi Shimi Weinbaum to lead us in the 12 Pesukim and the Siyam on Sefer Hamid's voice. We start with the Siyam on the Sefer Hamid's voice. And we have with us a Chayol in Sivis Hashem who actually has learned Sefer HaMitzvahs every single day. He hasn't missed one. And is actually making a real seum tonight on Sefer HaMitzvahs. We're very proud to call up Colonel Levi Pesner to make the seum.
Mazal Tov, Mazal Tov, Sadiala, Mamma, some kinder, Valhalen, and Safer, and Mrs. Yeder talk, yet for my Messiah, and them, Dari, and Fresh Six, the Mall. Hamitzva, Hare Samachal, Hasara, Sharazarno, Gam Kinim, Lava, the Fastayer, Ahar, Belosa, Kamanasi, Bamadi, Lavida, Shalaya, Seno, Shifra, Via, Nihena, Etsa, Kishara, Shwaha, Hoi, they stay of their Shifros. Wamber is Allah. Let's see summer bot, Hasa Sherry in his all, Sharon Sifri. Let's see summer bot, shall let his damage bot. Hinin is pearl hosh, snail, lavin, elomazem, snail, yonim, nefredin. Fame shoes are mill mocker. Lossy with gum, la, shitters, earthly, the air shivers. Elakmash, a sea voy is all of Shelata, Lenashi, the hog pear shoe, the Mashakot of a grain of nephes when he summer by a mohode, Amrum Shach, Nisal, Joseph is damaged by. Beautiful. You really deserve an incredible round of applause. That's unbelievable. Well done. And in your schus, many more chayalim will follow you not to miss a single day of learning Sefer HaMitzvahs. We now go to the 12 psukim. This is a very special time when the world really needs these psukim We've seen unbelievable miracles in Eretz Yisrael, and now too. This is a very special moment to be able to have Hashem's power through the 12 Sukkim. We call upon for the Pasuk of Teira Siva, First Lieutenant Meishi Lobenstein, Private Rafal Meishi Laufer, and Second Lieutenant David Rosenfeld. They will lead us in the Pasuk of Teira Siva and everyone who is here on Eastern Parkway and listening around the world. Let's hear you. Teira Siva. Beautiful, amazing energy, and we move on to Shema. We have with us Major Zelda Greenwald and Colonel Rifka Malecki. Let's hear you. Shema Yisrael Adenai Eloheinu Adenai Echad. Fantastic and unto Bechal, first lieutenants, both of them, first lieutenants, Avram and Menachem Hakoyen Ruddel, let's hear you. Bechal, Dar, Vadar, Chayav, Adam, Lerais, Y, S, Atmai. Halo, who, Yatsa, Mitzrayim. Beautiful job, and now for the next Pasuk, we call up Private Shana Minkowitz, whose birthday is coming up on Yud Aleph Nissen. It's also a Zaydi's yard site, Zaydi Rubashkin's yard site today, to lead us in the Pasuk, Kal Yisrael. Kal Yisrael, Yesh. Lahem, Chelak, Lielam, Haba, Shanemar, Viamich, Kulam, Sadikim, Lielam, Yershu, Aret, Nater, Matei, Mase, Yadai, Yehispaer. Very nice, and now we call up. Colonel Mendy Horowitz, he is going to lead us in the Pasuk of Ki Karayv. Ki Karayv! Eilacha! Hadavar! Miyay! Vizbicha! Uvalavcha! Lasaisai! And that is the way Achayel says a Pasuk. Absolutely incredible! Now for the Pasuk of Hine, we call up Captain Devora Nechalang, Nechalang to lead us in the Pasuk of Hine. Hine, Hashem, Nitzav, Alav, Emai, Chol, Harat, Kevaydai, Emavid, Alav, Emaiche. Clayis, Valev, M, Abdai, Karai. Beautiful.
Incredible job. And now for Barish's major, Freda and Private Elke Eichler. Let's hear you. Barish. Barad. Elohim. Hey. Hashemayim. Hey. Ha'aret. Beautiful. And now for the next pasuk. We call up First Lieutenant Zelda Rachel Wilhelm to lead us in the Pasuk Vishinantam. Vishinantam! Levanachem! Vidibartam! Bam! Vishitachem! Vivisachem! Uvalachem! Badara! Uvishatachem! Uvkamachem! Well done. That was really beautiful. And now we call up Private Sarah Malamed and Private Zahava Pinson. They are going to lead us in the Pasuk Yagaiti. Yagaiti. Rela. Wai. Oh. Tamen. Lai. Yagaiti. Umantasi. Oh, Tamen, Yagaiti, Umatasi, Tamen. Very nice, very beautiful. And now we move on to Sergeant Major Menachem Mendel Tevel. And he's going to lead us in the Pasuk via Hafta. Hafta. Lereyacha. Kamaycha. Rabbi. Akiva, Aimer, Zeh, Klau, Gadol, Mateira. Beautiful, Menachem Mendel. And now we go to Captain Avram Karp, together with First Lieutenant Mendel Karp. They are going to lead us in the Pasuk Vizeh. Vizeh. Kol, Ha'adam, Besachis. Vriyasai, Uvriyas, Kol, Ha'alamais, Alyainim, Vesachtainim, Liyais, Lai, Dira, Zu, Vesachtainim. Amazing, and now for the last Pasuk, we call up First Lieutenant Zelik Wise and Second Lieutenant Yisrael Stumbler, and they are going to lead us in the Pasuk Yismach. 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 Yisrael. 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 Peirosh. Shekhov. Mi. Shehu. Mi Zara. Yisrael. Yesh. Lai. Lismaya. Bethim Chas, Hashem, Hashem, Tzav, Vesameyach, Bediyasai, Besachta Tainim. Beautiful, and now we call up General Mendel Sperlin and Major Levy Sperlin to lead us with Yechi. Yechi Adinei Rein Rabbein Ruach, Hamshiach Leilvod.
Tonight's CM is organized by Rabbi Shmuel Butman of the Vod CM Harambam Ha'olami. Rabbi Yossi Butman. Rabbi Mendel and Miriam Mintz. Rabbi Eli and Nechama Newman. Rabbi Mendel and Chaya Broin. And Rabbi Shmuel Pebsner. A huge shout out to the production team, Rabbi Shmuley and Chava Butler and Shmuley Wadowski. Avraham Zamist of Motion Audio Visual. Zalman Newman, Mendel Moretzky, Mayor Abtsin, Shalom Rappaport, Zushi Greisman. Thank you to our videographers, Ari Raskin, Shalom Pikarski, Bad Ash Films, Dove Garowitz of Dovetography, Menachem Ramond of Montebello Media, Branding and Design, Rabbi Schneer Cortez, Rabbi Michal Goldman and the entire Chayenu team. Thank you to the Yossi Cohen Band and the Capella Choir. Thank you to Reb Hanina Sperlin for going above and beyond to make sure this seum would be possible. Thank you to the Mayor of New York, Eric Adams, a longtime friend of the Crown Heights Jewish community for over 20 years. We would also like to thank Ingrid Lewis Martin, Chief Advisor to the Mayor, Joel Eidorfer, Senior Advisor to the Mayor, Fred Kreisman, Commissioner of the Mayor Eric Adams' office. Thank you to the NYPD for shutting down the parkway and making tonight possible. Put your hands together for Chief Kemper, Lieutenant Ira Jablonski, Inspector Richie Taylor, Inspector Hayward, Inspector Brown. A very special shout out to Sergeant Mike Barata. Thank you to Moshe Pinson. Moshe, you and the members of Bay Shemuel truly made this event possible. We are very grateful. Crown Heights Shmira, Hatsala of Crown Heights, Printing, Meshulam Rosenblatt. Special thanks to Mika and Yossi Sofer of COLLive.com. But Nisayim Giren, beginning with Dalek Nisim Bishon Zu, the Marzil Orishin in Ramba, was about the Ren, Sendiker, Hunderter, and Tazenterin, Schlesha Prokim Bayeim. Bis matos misayim given fundem tog, be matos songi heim midem shiur, ide siyum, ide siyu dalif nisen bishon azu. Ide se degreste tal, was it do, um was me davgor weiter nizuchen, as iden zon zach zusammenklein, um machen sa siyum ligmore shel teyro, und a siyum mit den ganzen sturen. Zeichen <laughs> Mit Chilosa, das Anusach von Atam, mit der Farbe, die Tebe, was sie da mal sein. Wir sein muss Spaß, Harbe, wir sein mal Sach Tebe. In der Tobe passt es kein Siebe, also sein Kino, ein Laches Kammer wie Kammer, als sie können sein kein Roh, wie baut er mir heute Tebe, Harbe.
Shalom Aleichem, Oberuchim Aboyim, to the Yisiyum Alambam Oyilomi. This Abesai is a double celebration. It's the celebration of the Siyum Alambam Oyilomi, and it's a celebration for the Rebbe's 122nd birthday. This year is also special that we're giving every person who is participating a special coin for 40 years for the Limud Alambam. This is uh, basically a Magbeya Shalesh, a coin of fire, the fire of the Rebbe and the fire of the Rambam. Moreover, as it says in Kumich, when you will see this Magbeya, it will remind you of your connection with the Rebbe and the Rambam by learning the Rambam every single day, whether you're learning one Felik or whether you're learning three Felikim or Sefer Mitzvahs, you are making that great connection with the Rebbe and the Rambam. And please remember, when you are learning the Rambam, the Rambam is there with you, and the Rebbe is there with you. And you get all the blockers that you need. The Rebbe says all the time, This Rebbe is a special year. It's the 40th year of the Takone. We find in Kumish, that Meshe Rabbeinu said to the Jewish people just before they went in, into Eretz Yisroel, V'leinosan Hashem lochem leiv lo daas ve'einayim lireis ve'oznayim lishmeya adayim hazeh. You did not have a heart to understand and eyes to see and ears to hear until this day. When did Meshe Rabbeinu say that? At the end of 40 years. What happened at the end of 40 years? We went in El Eret Teva Ulkovel. This is 40 years since the Takonda of Limud Alambam. So after 40 years, what is our destination? Eret Chemda Teva Ulkovel De Geula O Amitis Vyaslemo. So please remember, by learning Alambam every single day, you are bringing about the Geula O Amitis Vyaslemo. Gesundte heit an Vleilefe. Van de Gea to the Matzav in Eret Yisroel. The whole world says that this is the first time that Iran has attacked Israel from their own territory. The Rebbe brings the Medalist, and in the Medalist that says very, very clearly that this is the Melech of Polas, the king of Polas of Iran. And what does it say after that? That we should not be afraid that Almighty God is making a great an announcement. And what is the great announcement? Anovim higiyaz man geolashem, which means, humble ones, the time of your redemption has arrived.
Goldring on the saxophone, give him a hand. Ich verbringe, das sehen wir am Anfang. Das ist ein Kanzler. Und der Eltern wird singen. Ich bin der Gunni.
I remember I was a young child. I was 15 years old when the Rebbe came out with this wonderful Takona. We were all very excited. As life moved on, life got very, gets very hectic when you move out of Shlichus. And we slip, we slip. It's difficult, there's long days, there's a lot on the mind, family, Shlichus, everything. When we moved to Sacramento, there was a little mikveh in town. But we knew if we want to do this mikveh the way the Rebbe wants us to do it, it has to be gorgeous. And while we were doing this project, I wasn't careful to make sure if the mortgage was paid every month. I said, I got to finish this. There was so many hiccups during the way. So, I didn't pay the mortgage for a while. Thinking, he's an understanding person. I gotta finish this myth. As things are moving ahead, I get a letter. If you don't come up with X amount of dollars, we're foreclosing on the property. That was a scary letter to get. And I remember trying to put together those couple of dollars to save this beautiful building. And it was going a little difficult. It wasn't adding up and checks were bouncing and it was becoming impossible. To know when you're a businessman that you have to study Torah and have a fixed time to study, that's obvious. But when you're involved all day long at saving the world and helping another person be miskarev and having to fundraise and having to take care of a community, where exactly are you supposed to find time for yourself? So I, I will say that I had a great difficulty, really. It was very, very difficult for me. I, I in nature, was somebody which was more, uh, you know, it's okay tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a better day. You know, we start things tomorrow. And uh, I started with one perek, one chapter a day. That already was, was, was tough. And one day I did it, one day I didn't do it, the other day I did do it. And this was a time, I want to say, where I really got in very deep debts. When one is in debts, the last thing you might think is, you know, I have time now to study Torah, I have to run after all these people to be able to give me money. And that's the day I said, you know what, enough is enough. I spoke to my mashpia, mashpia still told me, it's very simple. Somebody once came to see the Rebbe and said, I have debts. The Rebbe says, it's, you have debts because you have debts in your study of Rambam, of Maimonides. At that moment, I made a hachlota that a day will not pass by without Rambam. Uh, no, not and time, that's when everything changed. I had accumulated about 150 chapters of Rambam, which I did not do that year. We were about three months away from the conclusion of that cycle. I decided to go to the computer, go to the Dvar Malchus app, print it out, all the Rambam that I missed, I stapled it, and every time I had some free moment, I would just learn a page and just take it off. I remember an hour later, someone called me up and said, do you need a loan, did you help, how's it going? And I was able to set things up. And one thing led to another, and my life changed. My Parnassa changed, my relationship changed. I will say that even my Balibatim started looking at me in a different way. People say they don't have time to learn Rabba. You don't have time not to learn Rabba. There's 1,440 minutes in a day. You want to tell me that you don't have that time to learn Rabba? When it comes to the Rambam, the Rebbe says, this is the way to cause unity amongst the Jewish people. And what greater time do we need unity and Achdus Israel than now? Chabad today, Baruch Hashem, is in a total different uh, wavelength. Total different wavelength. With 14 Chabad houses in the greater Sacramento area. In a massive school with over 100 children. In Bali Tshuva. People are really changing their lives. And you will see once you put the Rambam, the Rebbe Stakon as your priority, everything is going to change in your life.
und der mesesibische Tier noch nicht angehen, wenn sicher das Kusser Warm beim See beisteht. Und sie werden anheben und dann blieben. Und nicht so, dass die schon auf der Nase stehen, die anderen aber sie werden lernen, wie es ist, wie es ist, wie es ist. In der Nähe von die Flamme zu schieben. Surprise for you. Yeah. Cafe Green Bell. Well, join us. The Anima Seminus. He will give the Zephyr on the Imus, that's for sure. Honored to hear from Chief Rabbi Yitzhak Yosef and Rabbi David Lau. Thank you. 
זכר צדיק וקדוש לברכה, שהוא תיקן לקרוא וכדו את הרמב"ם. התקנה הזו הרבתה תורה בישראל. אנחנו יוצאים בתקופה קשה מאוד, שבשדיך נשאו ראש אלו הערבים, מה שעשו לנו בשמחת תורה, מה שממשיכים עוד לעשות, אם זה באיראן, אם זה פה החמאס, אם זה חיזבאללה, שם מרחם. אנחנו מוקפים אויבים, צריך להתפלל עליהם, להתפלל שיפול עליהם מבט המפחד, ושהוא יכחית אותם, ישמיד אותם ויאבד אותם, אלו שונאי ישראל. אנחנו צריכים להרבות תורה, להרבות בתפילה, ואין דבר כמו יותר חשוב, להרבות בכל יום ויום בלימוד הרמב"ן, אם היה אפשר לבוא נושא כלים, וזה התורה הזו, תקן על כל עם ישראל בכל מקום שהוא, שמע בשורות טובות, בשורות ומחמות, זכות זה כל החיילים שלנו ינצחו במלחמה, שיתקיים בערבים האלו, תפול עליהם, מה אתה מפחד? שגם כן, כל הפצועים, פצועי הצבא, כולם בין המפחד שלמה, נורא מעליה. שנחטפו על ידי הערבים המחבלים האלו, מחבלים, חמאסניקים, שכולם יחזרו לביתם וחדרים לשלום, נשמע אשמח בהם, נזכר פסח קשה ושמח, נזכרו שנים רבות, רבות וטובות, אמן ואמן. ארבעים שנה מלאו לאותה תקנה גדולה ומכובדת, תקנתו של הרבה שהורה וביקש ללמוד בכל יום ויום, שיעור רמב״ם בסדר של פרק ליום, של שלושה פרקים ליום. אבל קשר של כל יהודי לתורה מחד ובאופן מיוחד לפסק הלכה ולמשנתו של רבינו משה בן מימון מי שנאמר עליו ממשה עד משה לא קם כמשה. התקנה של הרבי נפוצה בכל קבוצות ישראל ובמלאת 122 שנים להולדתו זהו המועד שבו נתכנס יחדיו ונאמר ריבונו של עולם תורת השם והקביעות היומית הם אלה שעמדו לנו עד היום, כן יוסיפו לעמוד לנו לאורך ימים ושנים, כדי לזכות לכל שפע הברכות האמורות, לכל הקובעי תורה, כל הקובעי עיתים לתורה, ולכל אלו שזוכים להמשיך הלאה, בהתאם לתקנתו של הרבי, המייחלים ומצפים לראות במהרה בישועת השם, ובשוב השם לעמו, ואת נזכה כולנו במהרה. בקרוב ממש לגאולה השלמה.
Currently, our reservists serving in uh, Khatibat Karmeli, which is one of the units connected with Golani. And I'm also an executive director we start for a program called Nivut for IDF lone soldiers when they come back here to the States. I started learning Rambam when I was 19 years old on the way to Israel to join the army. I said to myself, if I'm going to the army, I want to make sure that I'm going to make sure to strengthen my Yiddish Kaidu even stronger. And with that, when I got on the plane, that's when I started doing every day Mechitas and Rambam. And I never looked back. I always make sure to have Mechitas and Rambam with me. And being able, even if it's on the front lines, I just know that the Chitas, the Rambam, is something that I'm able to make the time for. Learning Rambam, learning Chitas, gave me the ability to be able to not only strengthen myself, but be able to strengthen all the soldiers that were around me. My story from starting in the army, starting at 19, to start learning Rambam every day, and that was Parak Echad. You know, it was one Parak a day. That was really, you know, it was, I was doing that for years. And then three years ago, I saw like two businessmen, and I see that they're learning Rambam, but they're learning three chapters of Rambam. They're learning three Parakim. And I was like, you learn three Parakim of Rambam? You learn three chapters a day? And I said, if they have time, 
I'll have time for it. Every single day, you have three prakam to do. The reason that Rambam is so powerful and how, how I feel it really connects with me is because every single day, you gotta start. You, you can't just say, okay, I'm gonna be lax. I'm gonna say, okay, you know what, I'll do it tomorrow. I will tell you the amount of blessings, the amount of brachas that I personally saw in my life grow have just been amazing. We might be tight on time, things might be busy in our life, but you know what? When you do these things, not only is it gonna help you as a person, it's gonna really, really make a big difference in the people around you and it's gonna go a long way. Good evening again. You don't have to worry. This is not a long speech. This is to tell you some good news. And the good news is that Moshiach is coming now. Now you are going to say, how do you know? And that's a good question. I don't know. But the Rebbe knows. And the Rebbe said many times before you look back into Sichas, and the Rebbe said that there would ever be a time where Melech Polas, the king of Polas, is going to declare war against Eretz Yisrael, then you know what it means. According to all international reports, this is the first time that Persia, which is Polas, which is Iran, sent missiles against Israel from their own territory. According to all international reports, <coughs> this is the first time that Polas, Persia, Iran sent missiles to Israel from their own territory. And the Medrash speaks about it. And he speaks about Melech Polas. And he says, what does it mean? It means that Almighty God is standing on the top of the Beit Amigdash and he is announcing Anovim Higiyas Man Geulaschem, which means, humble ones, the time of your redemption has arrived. Which means that the Rebbe is telling us that this, if this happens, that means that the time of our redemption has arrived. I also want to tell you that according to all forecasts, tonight was supposed to rain. Here in Crown Heights, the night at 6 o'clock was supposed to rain. What we did, what we do all the time, we have only a one outlet. We asked the Rebbe for Abloche. We asked the Rebbe for Abloche that the weather tonight should hold up and there should be no rain. And if there is a need for a rain, the Rebbe doesn't like to push off the rain. Because in the Rebbe's opinion, rain is Gishmi Bloche. However, the Rebbe says that you can push it off for a few hours. So we ask this, if there is a need for a rain, it should be pushed off till after 12 o'clock. And that the Rebbe agrees. And Bola Hashem, you can see there is no rain. The Rebbe took care of every single one of us. There is no rain. The weather is beautiful. And now, as an introduction, we're going to introduce Chaneich Henech. What is his second name? His second name is Eunuch, and he spent six months, you know where, in Gaza. And we are going to ask Kaneich Henech Eunuch to say the... Yiskar kamen chaysecha v'ilas chayi dash nesela Yitin l'chachivavecha v'chalatzos chayim alei 
Oh, yeah. 
נוצר בהם רגל של קרבה ואחדות הלבבות. ואכן, השילוב ההדוק הזה בין לימוד התורה ואחדות ישראל הוא המהות הבולטת ביותר בתנועת חב"ד, שנמצאת ומשפיעה בכל מקום, בכל מקום בעולם, בכל מקום בו נמצאים יהודים, באהבה גדולה, יום-יום, שעה-שעה. וכמו בלימוד התורה, גם בתפיסה החב"דית. העבודה לא מסתיימת לעולם. אני תמיד אומר, השלוחים האלה, 200 ישנים, תמיד יש מה ללמוד, תמיד יש עוד מצווה לעשות, תמיד יש עוד יהודי שצריך לדאוג לו. כמו בשנה שעברה. Rabbi Tzvi Kanaka, here in Vieira, Florida. We're going on our 34th year on Shlichus to the Space and Treasure Coasts. It came Lag Ba'emer Tafshin Pei Beis. The new cycle was beginning, and I had already had a good friend of mine that pushed me that I should go from Perak Echad Layayim to Shleisha Prakim. My birthday is Chafir, which is two days later, and I thought to myself, the Rebbe has given me so much, and I have been a recipient of the Rebbe's incredible brachas in my shlichus, in my family, I'm going to go cold turkey. Because to me, chitas was a contribution, but shleisha prakim layayim was a sacrifice. The Kiddush that we have, it's a sit-down Kiddush every Shabbos, and it's a type of Fabrengen. I took the courage to ask anyone in the crowd who's willing to help me complete my cycle of Perakech Adlayim, that it shouldn't go to waste. I'm Howard Gans. I'm from Melbourne, Florida, and I'm an engineer. Rabbi Kanaka once at Kiddush said that he wanted to go to the three-chapter Rambam, and he asked me if I could study the one-chapter Rambam. And I've been through the, the, the Chumash a few times, the Tanya, and I said, now here's something else I got to go listen to, another, another half hour, 45 minutes every day. But if you want to do something, you make the time. Whatever stuff's on television or something like that, I would say, no, let's put my... Coast was to build a mikvah. For so many years, we tried every... Couple of years. I'm no big Maskrit, and I'm no big Tamad Chacham. This is what the Rebbe gave us, a little bit of an ability to give the Rebbe back. A wise man...
שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. Standing in the Rebbe's Dalet Amis. This is 40 years since the Rebbe came out with the Takona of learning Rambam. When we know, as Chassidim of the Rebbe, I'm out this Takona. The whole idea of Siyuma Rambam was the idea of Oz Lo Yevosh, the beginning of the Rambam, that Eid should not be embarrassed. Every single Eid can learn Kola Teire Kulo with the study of Rambam. I told my dear friend Avremo, our singer tonight, that I'm going to say something about him. It was 39 years ago, I was a young boy in Yerushalayim, and Avramo made his first concert at the Siyum Rambam in Yerushalayim in Binyanei Uma. And we are all witness to the great success that every day, Bli Ayin Ara, Loinos Leichoy, Avramo gets better and better and better. There's no one as good as him because of his dedication to Siyum Rambam. We know the brachas of Siyum Rambam. And I want to tell Rabbi Butman that 40 years ago, 39 years ago, the Siyum Rambam started. You might think to yourself, Rabbi Butman is not a young man. We all know the story we heard that the Rebbe told Rabbi Butman, Tovshim Shimem Tess, he had a yichida that nobody was zoichet to have. In the Rebbe's house on the second floor, the Rebbe called up Rabbi Butman and told him in these words, Zachnish rechinem mit kein Geld. Don't be cheap, as they say in English. Don't worry about and don't think about spending money. And I just want to say 
that you look at here today, how many Yingelite who I started to say Rambam every single day? There are Yingelite over here, Lippe, Moshe Pinson, Beishmuel, Shluchim. I got phone calls every single day. Bochrim in yeshivas who watch the videos, who watch Yingelite, and they say, if they can do it, we can do it. I myself, my first Yom Rambam three years ago is because of this event. So you guys have a schus tonight to take part. And especially the first Yom Rambam was on the eve of Yudal of Nisan 39 years ago. So take out your phones, open up the link, and your name will come up. Slash Sium. You can go and be part. And right over here, as we stand in the Rebbe's Daladamas, Beis Rabbeinu Shebevovel. And let's hope there's going to be over here before we finish this. There's going to be Varuim Manan Ishmael. We all go to Yerushalayim Irakaydish. So come, open up your phones, and start being, taking part. And while you do that, have in mind the people who need brochas, those who need brochas for Refua, for Yeshua, those soldiers who are fighting for us. Raiseathon.com forward slash see them, see them, and make, and have in mind also those who are uh, captive and everybody else who needs. I want to say thank you to Zalman Shanowitz, $3,600. He gave it. Shnei Zalman, Rabbi Shalom Doiv Shanowitz gives it. Rabbi Tomim Chaim Chaim Nishmas Oviv, Rabbi Tomim Shalom Doiv Beb, and Rabbi Tomim Chaim Itzchok, and his chus his mother, Rabbi Tomim Chaim Tov Rabbi Chaim Tov Momen, the Sora Esther, Shetichye Bas Rabbi Mordechai Doiv. And somebody else has just gave and it's his wife. Beryl Eunuch, $3,600. Gadi Blazinski, $1,800. Chaim Pikarski, $1,800. Moirai Verabaisai, this is your opportunity. We're standing over here in front of the Rebbe's room, in front of 770. Thousands of us and thousands of all and over hundreds of thousands watching. Levi Itzchok. Read the first 3600. Moira Verabaisai. Keep giving. And the Abishta should give you back Elif, Alpha, Alofim, Peomim, Kocha. The Sperling family, $1,800. It's opportunity, raiseathon.com forward slash seum. This is the place where the Rebbe is. The Rebbe is where Chassidim are. Zara Chayeve Kayomo. We're up to $83,000. We're almost there. It's opportunity to take part. This is a historical moment, and it's exactly 39 years later where the Rebbe made a Siyam Rambam right over here at the night of Yidal of Nissen. I want to say thank you to everybody. I want to give everybody a bracha for a freilach and kosher on Pesach. I want to thank Rabbi Butman for keeping up with the young and making this is the event. This is what the Rebbe meant to get better. The Rebbe started with this initiation, and it Go forward 40 years later, and it's 2024, and Rabbi Butman is doing it right, and Avram and everybody else. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mendel Mint. Thank you, Dudi, for those wonderful words. I want to say something to Avram Freed. We wanted this not to be a concert. I've run for it things many times, but we don't want. To, we wanted this not to be a concert. To this be a chiddush of and Baruch Hashem, Avram Freed sang tonight 
like you sing by a frame by a chesidish of I want you to know of them. I felt that way when I was sitting here that we are by a fabringen unter dem Lebensfenster and with the Rebbe together. And what we want now is a fabringen when we can see and hear the Rebbe, the pale mamish. Abremel, thank you very, very much. Rabbi Sai, I want to introduce to you the man who is going to make the seum. His name is Leibel Willinger. Leibel Willinger is the is the Rosh Yeshiva for, of of the Koilel of of the of the Yeshiva Teilavodas. But I want to tell you something about the Leibel Willinger. Like you, I know many people. The Leibel Willinger is a spiritual Jew. You know what a spiritual Jew is? In my humble book, a Jew where the neshama lights through the goof. The Leibel Willinger is one of those Jews where the neshama lights through his goof. And we asked him to make the seum on the Rambam, and we are happy that he accepted. And we asked him to speak in English so that everybody will understand him. My dear friend, Olava Goen, the Leibel Willinger, please. It's so very emotional for me to stand here like they sang before the Nigen Arnhem's Mirois when I was a young boy. It rings the bell when the Rebbe made it some Chistoyre. I would like to say over tonight we should know what's bound we are in now the next these few hours. Beshis Moi Rebbe Rabbi Rav Botman, Vechola, Kola, Kodesh Hazeh. I would like to say over a story. I don't know if the Oilem knows it, but it's brought down from the Koshen Semagit. There was a Chosit from the Balatanya. It was a big Evir. But he didn't want to spend his money. He came to Balatanya for a broche. He didn't have any children. So the Balatanya told him, and a lot of time it happened, you should go to my Rebbe, Reb Shloyme Mikalin. And he's going to tell you, he's going to, he's going to tell you, Mesh Hashem, he'll give you a broche, and you have a benzoche. So he came to Reb Shloyme Mikalin, and he gave him his name, and he said, the Rebbe of Shlomo Kalina said, I need 1,600 ribble. I'm going to give you a broche. You have to give me 1,600 ribble. And he didn't want to give so much. She said, he's going to think it over. He came the next day, and he thinks, if the Rebbe asked me for so much money, why don't I give it? So he came back to Rav Shloyme Kalinim and he said, I'm willing to pay how much you want. So Rav Shloyme Kalinim told me, it's all over. Two days ago I could help you, but now I can't help you. So the Chosid went back to Balatanim and he asked him, what happened? What happened these two days? So the Palatania answered him that in the first Gilgal, you have a Mavaza Talmud Chochem. And the Gemara writes, Ha Mavaza Talmud Chochem, Eiri Fiel Makosoy. But the Rambam writes, Yeish Refiel, Petnai, Sheyitl Kavad the Dinim. He should give money. So when I learned yesterday when you came, I made a siyam and the Rambam, he brings down. So I had a koyach that the Rambam, my broch is going to be mikiyam. And also was the Rambam siyotzat. Rabbi Isai, today, now, 
We are standing in a scene from the Rambam. And the Rambam is standing with us. And the Rebbe is standing with us. And this Chodesh Nisim, a Chodesh al Let's use all these few hours, these few minutes, to be mispalo what we want. What do we want, Rabbi Isai? But the Rambam finishes off. So Zayim Biyas HaMashiach. Now is this man in the Sima Rambam and the Rambam's last page writes about Mashiach. And he's going to stand with us together. All should be mispalal, the Rambam and the Rebbe and all the from here to bring the Gilish Shalem. <coughs> I would like to say it says what does it mean to be mispalal? There's a Gomarashi in Chimi Schweiz. The Rabbi Shalom took the Mishkan. Mishkan means a Mashkin. I don't know exactly how you say it in English, but everybody knows what it means. He took a Mashkin that the Yidin um, Gizindig, they took a mashkin, and the Rabbi Yisholoylam wants to give us back the mashkin. So the Rabbi said, they asked the Kashi, it says if you give somebody a mashkin to hold overnight, you have to give it back at night. So the Kashi is the Rabbi Yisai. We have a mashkin, and it's overnight. Why doesn't the Rabbi Yisholoylam give back the mishkin? Why doesn't the Rabbi Yisholoylam build the mishkin? But the aloha is the posse right before you, ki yitzek alai. If he's going to scream to me, he has a mashkum, let's say he has a cover, and he needs the cover for, to go to sleep at night. I'm going to give it back. So the maise is on the svorum akdoshim. We want Mashiach, but we have to scream, before you, ki yitzek alai. If we're going to scream all together, and the Rabbi Nishloim is bring back. He has to get back the mashkin. But you know why he's waiting, Rabbi Isai? Vahoyu ki Yitzhak alai. He's waiting for our screaming. This is what he's waiting. When we learn Rabbi Isai Rambam, I would like to say, there's a Beisahar and a Pasha Saf. How do you begin the Kishu with the Rebbe? Zog the Beisahar and how? Just like you get the Kishu with the Rabbi Nishloim. How? If you do what the Rabbi Nishoyim wants, if we all over here are going to do what the Rebbe wanted, he wanted we should learn every day Rambam. And if we learn every day Rambam, this is what he wanted. We get Mekisha to the Rebbe with Shivonu. And the Balatirim writes, V'nav shoy ki shiroi v'nav shoy, shiroi v'gematri toire. To learn the Torah from the Rambam, we get Mekisha with the Rambam, and we get Mekisha with the Rebbe. The Rambam in the Ascholim, from Hilchis, is Soida Torah. I would like to say over a beautiful pshat. The Rambam brings down, how do you get to see the godless of the Rabbi The Rambam writes this boinen. If someone is going to think, Let's think, Rabbi Isai. If my hand could go like this now, isn't this an S? Shaykh the Rambam, if you see the whole Bria, the sun, I'll ask you a Shaykh, Rabbi Isai. When I came here, the sun was shining. And now it's dark. Did anybody say, hey, Rabbi Brom, an S, Rabbi Butma, an S in the shame. When I came over here, it was so nice, and now it's dark. So what's the terrace? We have to believe unless and Teve is one thing. Meaning, that's why we say about the Shiramalois, as so Eine Yalahore me I in Yove Ezri. For me, does the Ezri come? We are lost. What's the Teresa boy say? Ezri me Mashem, Oisai Shemayim Vores. The Rabbi Nishloim created Shemayim Vores. That's why the every day in Ness and Teve. Is the same thing. I would like to say with one zach, and then the Gemara brings down a beautiful pshat that I saw. Rab Chanine bitoy, Rab Chanine ben doisoy. She was very down. 
So they asked him, why are you down? Zukta, I put oil. Instead of oil, I put toimets, not oil. So why are you upset? It's burning. So why do you care? It's burning. So he said, I can't ever know. It's a mycinism. So how could I ever know? So why did he answer? If so, how is a shaman born? Why? It's a nest. But is me shoim? If someone believes a shaman and choimitz is one thing, it's not called nenim and meisenisim. So that's why that man blames of the Rambam. When it's born in the meise brief in the rabbinic shloilam, medem gleit me medem zovetman. Zetman a nest and teve is ein zach. There's no chilik. To nest with Teve, do this with Meda Wissen. And this, the Yaivitz writes, as Bismana Zeh, and we could say it all together, Mizeta Klal Yisro Lot Akim. So many years in Golis, so many years we went through so many Golis, and Klal Yisro has a Kim, and tonight we could travel 40 years from Rambam. This is the greatest nest what can be. And this is the greatest accordance at all, but they have to thank the Rabbi Nishaloylam. Wissen, a nest in Tevez, we saw no someone standing by the statue of Titus. So he said, Titus, Titus, what happened with you? Nobody knows about you. And by Asbo Hashem, Torah bleed and everything. I have to be Mekasir, because somebody, the next speaker, has to make a plane. So I'll take a rain check, Rabbi Butman. But we should know, as we, like I said before, Medafman Allah Oisnitz and this man must now they see him. Like he said, the Rambam with Pasch like the Rambam. And the Rambam says, I'm a we want Mashiach, Betten and Betten for Mashiach. Now is the time. The, and the Yoima led us from the Rebbe. And we're standing here before the, 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 the room from the Rebbe. And we're standing here as Chodish, a Chodish, a Shia boy, my Kifis, which she all scream, Rabbi Shaloylam. With the Gilish Shalema Mitis, we made the Dombero of Rachmo Vaxolo. In the Oise Asman, Loye Shom Loiro, Veloy Mulchome, Veloy Kinem Vesachris, in State Loiro of La Lechem, Veloy Tsoma La Mayem, Kiem Lishmoya Advar Hashem. Shatoi vetiye mishipas harbe, the whole amedanim misiin ko ofe, the leye eisi kolo oile meledas as a shembo vat, and the fikoch ye so chachomin gedoilem, the yoidim dvorem astimen ve asigi das boidom, fi koicho yodom sheneme, ki molo ores dia as a shem, ki mayem la yom mechasem. We should be all the Zoyche, all together with the Rebbe, the Kenge with the Ramba, Kenge with Shiach, Sitkeini, Bem Heilo, Biyameini, Omen. And thank everybody for being here. Have a good time, Yatsu Shem, Baitim, Mamshuk Zayin, the Allah Guru Tazayin. Thank you very much. Yeah. I should have to get much more, but okay. I was at the Gold Taste and Ezra Machin, the scene, because it's not the best, it's beautiful. I told you Rabbi Williger was a spiritual was a spiritual Jew. Now you saw it. And now for the Sium, for the Ascholah, we have a special Jew that came all the way from England. From the Mill Hill Synagogue in London. And he's here with us. Rabbi Yitzchak Shochat. He has to make a plane, but I hope you give him your undivided attention. Rabbi Yitzchak Shochat in my book is one of the Jews where the Neshama shines through the goof. My unique pleasure, Rabbi Yitzchak Shochat, please. First, to begin with the Ascholah, Yisoyda, Yisoyda, Yisvamud HaChokhmah, the foundation of all foundations and the pillar of all Chokhmah. 
is Leida Shiesha Mitzi Rishon, to know that there is a Rishon, a primary being for whom Mamsi called Nimsa, who brings everything else into existence. The whole in the Shemayim Aretz, all entities that exist for Shemayim Aretz, Omashe Benayim, and what is in between, Loi Nimsu, Ella Meyamitis Imsoi, only it comes into existence because of the Amos, the truth of the Rabbinic Shalalam's being. The Gemara in Shabbos quotes, quoted by the Rebbe in various Siyumi Harambam tells us that Abaye di Chichazino Tsurbar Merabonon, the Sholem Mesichte Avida, Yemba Tabal Rabonon. Abaye, when he saw somebody making a seal on a Mesechte of Gemara, he made a great celebration. The question that I have is why Dafka Abaye? Why was he the one who celebrated whenever a siyum was made? Rab Chaim Vital writes in Shar HaGilgulim that the very same neshama of Chizkiyo HaMelech was that which later went into Rabbi Yechonah ben Zakkai and thereafter Abaye. And when you look upon their lives, they share a common theme. Chizkiyo HaMelech was the one who fortified Kalal Yisrael in the face of Sancheirev reassuring them that the Eivishter is with them and will fight for them. And as the Pasuk says, they relied on him and they trusted him. And similarly, when faced with the imminent threat of his own life, he declared, never give up hope under all in any circumstances. He demonstrated absolute bitachon. Rabbi Yechonah ben Zakkai was in the face of Churban HaShel Yerushchurvayz Yerushalayim. But that didn't deter him. We constantly find in the Gemara, Hiskin Rabbi Yechonah ben Zakkai, Meheira Yibona HaMikdash. He was always anticipating the immediate rebuilding of the Beis HaMikdash. When confronting Aspasyonus, he asks, Tainli Yavne V'chachameha. Give me Yavne, Yavne, Miloshin, Yibona. He knew the awesome power of Taira and that through Yavne being preserved, then Meheira, Yibona, the Beis Hamikdash can and will be rebuilt. Abaye is known as Rosh Teves Ashebecho Yerucham Yosei. He lived literally and figuratively in an orphan generation, but that didn't deter him from spreading the Varhavaya, bringing the Shechina through Limit Atayra, even into Bavel. And therefore, it's Dafka Abaye who had the incredible bitachin of Chizkiyahu and the conviction of Rabbi Yechina ben Zakkai, who thoroughly appreciated the awesome power and potency of Limit Atayra, through which we can bring about an Itzachin for Klal Yisrael. And Yibona HaMikdash, and therefore Asiyam HaMasechta Abaye realized this is a true cause for celebration. Alachas kamo vikamo, when it comes to a siyam haramba, which is kailo kol hatayra kula, it's a very real cause for tremendous celebration. Because Rabbi said, we are now living in challenging times of Bifrat in Eretz Yisrael and a chayshech kafal mechupal, but we learn from Chizki Yoam Melach to have unwavering bitachin. We learn from Rabbi Yechidah and Zakkai to strengthen our commitment to limit hatayra bechlal and limit haramba bifrat. And we learned from Abaye to celebrate this seal as we are doing here now, which will lead to the ultimate celebration of the coming of Mashiach. We all know that the Alter Rebbe introduced the idea of dividing Parsha Sashavuah into seven parts each week. A century and a half later, Tafresh Pezayin, in urgent response to the crisis in the former Soviet Union, the Friedrich Rebbe introduced the idea of saying to Hillim, as divided into the days of the month. 16 years after that, the Friedrich Rebbe instituted the same in respect to the learning of Shir Tanya daily. I don't know what the response of the average Chassid might have been when the Altra Debra introduced the learning of Chumash daily, in addition to whatever other personal Kaviyas in Shirim. It's one thing when you have your own voluntary learning, when you pursue at your own pace, but when it's Mitzvah V'Aisa, then Atzas Hayeser can creep in and create a certain sense of psychological pressure. The very idea of I have to do this today can be counterintuitive. 
And that then gets compounded when there's a shir tehillim that has to be done daily. You can't run a shot of shul anymore. You need to stay the extra five, ten minutes. Add to that a compulsory shir tanya every day, and there's this daily absolute responsibility, chayk v'lo yavar. And to be sure, I have no doubt that perhaps sometimes some might have struggled with this. Proof lies in the many letters from the Rebbe, where there would often be an added emphasis of chizuk to individuals to ensure that they are learning chitas. At times, this was emphasized also at Ferbrengen's as well. A mizarzin el mizurozin, and we all know the unique brachas and yeshuas that come about and is associated with this learning. And then, 40 years ago, the Rebbe introduced us to the learning of Rambam daily as well. Three prokim, one parak, sefer and mitzvahs. Either way, it's a whole new commitment on a whole other level. It's not 10 minutes for Chumash. It's not 10, 15 minutes for Tanya. It's not 5, 10 minutes for Tehillim. It's time, it's effort. Needless to say, that too requires chizuk, both in respect to ourselves, but also to those who may as of yet not have started finding the time. There was a certain Rav who came to the Rebbe in Yechidus, and he had a dilemma. He was a husband and a father and a pulpit rabbi and a school principal and a regular newspaper columnist and a public lecturer and a couples therapist and a hospital chaplain. Something had to give. He couldn't keep juggling all those balls. The Rebbe would be the one best to advise what he should give up. And the Rebbe looked to him and the Rebbe said, I'd like you to get involved in opening a branch of Chabad in your area. And the Rav stood there, mouth open. He's coming to seek guidance to release some of his burden, and the Rebbe is compounding it. And seeing his perplexed looks, the Rebbe smiled and said, you think you're able to do all those things you've been doing until now because of your own abilities? It's the Eberster who has given you the Kaychais and the Yechailas to achieve all those things. And in as much as the Eberster is a kol yachol, he can do anything and everything, then that same Eberster who gave you the strength to do all this will give you the added strength to do the added task as well. And it's the same reality in respect to our set shiurim barabai seinu nesienu. There's time there for davening and for family and for business or for shlichas or for rabbonus or for whatever else besides and for chitas, and for learning Rambam on top of whatever other personal regular shiurim as well. But that said, I have a confession to make. Sometimes I would find myself overwhelmed with time. Sometimes I would leave Rambam to the last thing of the day. Sometimes that meant actually falling asleep in the middle, and sometimes that meant having to be mushlim the next day. It's not a good habit to get into. And then some considerable time ago, I was lecturing by a shliach in Florida, and I observed how he was making a point of sitting down with his different children at different times to learn whichever Shia Rambam was Negea and Shaykh to them at their level. And then I thought back to my own father, Allah Shalom, how he would every single evening without fail, midday yayim biyaymai at supper, with our family sitting around learning Sefer HaMitzvah, this apart from the Shir of Three Prokim, etc. And I was machlet then and there in Florida that I was no longer going to sometimes be lax and resort to be mashlet. At a designated time every single day, I would ensure to learn Rambam come what may. Fast forward many years and this past November 7th, Chof Gimel Cheshva, I was scheduled for some significant surgery. And the doctor, Professor George Hanna, only ever operates on Shabbos, but as a favor out of respect to me as a rabbi, he's going to make an exception and operate on Tuesday. But it was going to have to be early morning. It's delicate, it's complicated, not at the end of a long day. I had to come in very early for pre-ops, which meant leaving my home even before Mishiyakir. I was going to be davening in hospital. Then I did chitas. Then I started Rambam, and Professor Hanna comes into the room. A simple cheshben. It's a four-hour surgery. It's however many hours afterwards of recovery. If I don't finish Rambam now, bang goes that haklota kept for so long. What to do? Professor Hanna is Egyptian, not Muslim, Coptic. So I asked, have you ever heard of Maimonides? And then I added, 
He was a prolific scholar and a leading physician in Egypt, he even became court physician to the Sultan. And he's staring at me, wondering where this is going. So I said, I have a ritual where I study some of his writings every single day. I haven't missed a day in years, and I just need to finish before we go down. I really hope that's okay. And this eminent professor, for the first time in his 37 years as a surgeon, comes especially to operate on a Tuesday early morning, and I'm asking him to come back. It gives new meaning to chutzpah. He smiled, and he said nothing other than, I'll see you soon. Thankfully, I was able to finish before I was wheeled down. That was the last time I saw the surgeon until much later, when I'm back in my room, and he comes in to report to my wife. I'm high on the morphine, but I remember his words crystal clear. I anticipated it to be very complicated, but it went far, far better than I expected. And then he leaned into me, he put his hand on mine, and he said with a twinkle in his eye, maybe Maimonides was watching over my shoulder. The Rebbe stressed many times, quoting the Rambam, Kakotun, Kagodol, regardless of where one is at, scholastically or spiritually, learning Rambam incorporates all aspects of Torah, and when we do so collectively, it has a compelling, unifying force. There could be a Yid in the IDF in Gaza, and another in a hospital bed in London, and another in the Gold Coast of Australia, and yet another in a bench in 770 Eastern Parkway. And no matter the distance, they are all united and connected as one through the learning of Rambam. And rest assured when we do, yes, the Rambam is watching over our shoulder. The Rebbe is watching over our shoulder, and all the brachas and Yeshua's come pouring in. And as the Rebbe elaborated at a Fabrengen 40 years ago, Chof of, quoting the Gemara and Sanhedrin on the Pasuk, Arboim Shana Akud Badar. Just as the first time Klal Yisrael went into Eretz Yisrael, it was after a preparation of 40 years in the Midbar, so too the number 40 is associated with the Gula Amitis Vashlema, which means that this Siyum of 40 years of the Rebbe instituting, the Takona should translate it to a seum of the scholars and an immediate entry into Eretz Yisrael with Mashiach. And finally, when we are talking about a seum harambam, we reflect on how me Maisha vad Maisha like come ke Maisha. And in describing Maisha Rabbeinu's birth, the Pasuk says, Vatar ha Isha vatelet ben, vatar ha Isai kitayif hu. She saw how good it was, and Rashi quoting the Gemara says, when was born, the whole house was filled with light. The Rebbe explained, on account of Maisha's father, Amram, who was the Nasi Hadar, there would have already certainly been tremendous light as well. Nevertheless, upon Maisha Rabbeinu's birth, it was an altogether different sort of light. We are going from this Siyum into Yud Alef Nisan. We consider how 122 years ago the Ebershti gave us the gift of Nasi Hadar, Shehu Ashvi, Bechol Ashvi, and Chavivin to the world, Bechlal, and to us, Chasidim, Befrat, Nismale, Habayis, Bechol Ha'ilam, Kuloi, Eira. We are Dar Ashvi, the last of the Skolos and the first of Geula. The Nisius continues no less. The Aveda continues no less. The Mazolai Geiver continues no less. And now it is absolutely incumbent upon us to reciprocate a gift to the Rebbe. The gift of Abbas Yisrael Bechlal through, as the Rebbe continuously pleaded for, and the gift of Achtus Befrat through the learning of Rambam, which will surely result in the ultimate gift of Mashiach. And we finish with a Bakosha Nafshi. As we will be saying, the Rebbe's forthcoming capital, Shiramale Se Lecho, Nososius, Enai says Eben Ezra, this is addressing our generation languishing in Golas Rahman al Islam. Turning to the Abishter, who is, as the Posta continues, Hayeshvi Bashamayim. Why is he referred to, says the Eben Ezra, as such? Because all Gezerahs come from there, meaning we are in Golas because there is a Gzeira Milmaila that has kept us here. And therefore, we cry out, as the capital continues, Chaneinu Hashem, Chaneinu, enough is enough. Daloi Golos, 
and we should be zeicher to the gula, hamitzis, vashlema, benisa, nigulu, benisa, nasidin, ligol, through the coming of Mashiach. Take care from Mayad Mamash now. see my Rambam, there's a new chizuk and excitement and enthusiasm to start learning Rambam, but halfway through Zmanim, you already start falling off the wagon. What could we do to keep the excitement and the motivation of the see my Rambam 
throughout the whole year. Last year, the Shabbos of the Hasim Rambam, we have a few chevra who pushed that we should be more involved, more inspired. We decided to start a Rambam book club. At the end of every Sefer, we'll come together. We'll make a Siyum on the Sefer. We'll discuss interesting halachas that you found interesting in the Sefer. And that will give us a chizuk to continue to the next Sefer. And uh, it got off to a very good start. We were involved. We were excited about learning Rambam. We decided to share the joy of the Rambam with any country or person or entity that had a shaykhaz with the Rambam. We received a response from dignitaries and important people showing their support and encouragement. It was years that I tried learning Rambam and it was just an ongoing struggle until finally I reached out to Lippi. The best time to learn is early in the morning before you get too busy and that's how we started a sheer 5.30 in the morning. With a brengi and a pinny and lippy, a couple guys were making me a little uh, sugar to make a chlata to do it. I didn't realize how hard it is. The commitment was very, very difficult. It was a big struggle, a big achlata. And this is the first year I officially learned the entire Rambam, and it's amazing. Weekdays, Sundays, weekends, holidays, we always have a share. The Rebbe wanted us to learn Rambam, so you find a time for it. You find a time for it. I get up in the morning, I know I have a full hour of learning Torah, and at the end of the year I go through Kala Torah Kula. So it's a really an amazing feeling. You begin to view the world and live your life with the Rambam that you're learning. My kids, they see me sitting on my phone instead of assuming that I'm doing shtusim. They see me on my phone and they think, oh, Tati's learning Rambam now. It changed my personal life and it changed my life around me. I, I think different, I walk different. Mamash gives you a certain connection to the Rebbe that you can't get any other way. The Rebbe's holding out his hand and he's saying, do this thing and you're connected. Do this thing, I'm involved in your life. That's who you are. You're a Hasid and you're with the Rambam, you're Taira. And this is obviously the channel to connect with the Rebbe to get all the births. You might feel that it's very overwhelming. Don't be discouraged. The first step is you jump in. Jump into it. It's difficult in the beginning, it's not easy, but eventually it gets easier and easier and then it's part of your life. And you know how important it is to the Rebbe, so you know it's not easy to commit to it, but we do it. Last year, after they played the video of the story of me with the Rambam and the Rebbe dollars, I stood up here and I raffled off a dollar of the Rebbe, from the Rebbe. Around two hours after I got home, after that raffle, I received a message from a friend of mine, a shliach, Yitzhak Feldman in Oregon, telling me that he was inspired from the video and I, real, and I noticed that he sent me a video of Koy Bracha the day after Pesach, which I, which being that I was traveling from Florida, I did not open and see the video. So I asked him to resend it to me, being that it expired. When he sent me the video, it, it was a video of me getting kosher, going by the Rebbe getting kosher bracha with my father. And in the, in the video, it was, it, he explained to me that it was a video sent out of four random 30-second pieces of a four-hour kosher bracha. In the first 30-second piece was a video of myself getting kosher bracha. The second 30-second piece was a video of someone else getting kosher bracha and speaking to the Rebbe, but all you can hear is music. And in the third 30-second piece, you hear the Rebbe saying, Ich koch zich as men zolein en rambam. And then the Rebbe says, Zomen pages von die alle bilbulen. This is the video I received after standing up here and raffling off a dollar which generated over 1,400 people to start learning Rambam or enhance the level of Rambam. A few months later, on September 4th, which was one year from the time I recommitted to learning Rambam and bought those Yankee tickets, I, and 
It was the day that I received the third dollar from the video. My mother found an additional two dollars of mine, which she sent me in a new WhatsApp message. And a few hours after that, my wife and I found out that we were pregnant, that she, that she was pregnant. And Baruch Hashem, Mazel Tov, and the Siyam Rambam this year, Tezai and other, we had baby girl twins. So I was thinking to myself that I should be raffling off another dollar this year to encourage and bring more people to learn Rambam. But on Sunday, I told my mother that I would like to do something a little more than just giving out one dollar. Should I give out a dollar with some dimes? Should I give out two dollars? And a few hours after that, she found another two dollars of mine at the Rebbe. So on that note, I decided to raffle off two dollars of the Rebbe, one for men, one for women. And I encourage all of you, whoever has not started learning Rambam yet, Wherever would take upon themselves a chlata to elevate their level of Rambam, to enter into this raffle, to receive a dollar from the Rebbe. And I would like to conclude with a blessing for Lubavitch of Pomona, who unfortunately today had their shul burned down to the ground and lost three sifr That as it says in, in the first Rashi of today's chitas, that Hashem destroys the building, or that Hashem said to demolish the building in order that you may find gold in the walls and they should build stronger and better. If you'd like to enter into the raffle to receive the dollar, please text Rambam to 21000, that's 21000. And we ask everyone out there to please give what you can and donate to the Razathon so that the Rabbi Butman will not have any of the remaining bills after this wonderful Siyam Rambam. Thank you, thank you Rabbi Butman, Mikhail Ochayel, and may we see the Rabbi take it from Miyad Mamish now, who you going to? Thank you very much, Lipa, and I appreciate your blessing that we shouldn't have any worries in covering the budget. And thank you very much. And Mazel Tov on the twin daughters. Baruch Hashem. Lalichos Yomim. Vishonim Tevis. Rabbis, I want to thank you. I'm not going to talk again tonight. I want to thank you now for coming. I want to thank all the organizers for doing a beautiful job. And I want to thank my dear friend, Mendy Mintz, for organizing all of this and doing such a wonderful, wonderful job. And Emil Tashem, there are going to be a lot of good things coming out of this Siyam al and most and, and, and most of it, the Gula Ho Amit Isvi HaShlemo, Gezunta Heit on Heit. I was told that I should announce when the next Siyam al is going to be. Well, it's going to be in Yerushalayim Ir HaKedesh with the participation of the Rebbe and the Rambam together, Gezunta Heit on Heit. And let's remember, the Rebbe says very, very clearly the Medrash, when there is going to be Melech Polas, Melech Polas is the kingdom of Persia, which today means Iran. This is the first time that all, all the media is saying, this is the first time that, that, that Iran attacked Israel from their own borders. The first time in history. And therefore what it means is, that now there is a clear message that, that, that the Moshiach is standing at Gag Beis Amigdash and he is saying, Anovim, 
Higiyas man geulaschem. Anovi means humble ones. The time of your redemption has arrived, which means after 40 years, and now it's 40 years of the Takonas, Siyom Alambam, we are going in. Elelet, Stevo, Ulchovo, the Geulo, Amitis, the Ashlemo. And the Rebbe will take us out of Golos, all of us together. Gesund to hate, um freilich hate, take it, um yad, mamish.